Today, we are going to solve story problems. Remember when we solve story problems, we first visualize the story, then we write our number sentence. After we solve, the last step is to double check it using another strategy. I'm going to read the story problem we're working with today. Close your eyes and visualize what's happening in the story while I read it. Kim had 14 blocks. Rosa gave her five more. How many blocks does Kim have now? Well, in my mind, in my story, I saw two girls. One had 14 blocks, a lot of blocks, and the other gave her five more. So now that I have my visualization, now that I know what's happening in the story problem, I can write my number sentence. The first sentence tells me that Kim had 14 blocks. So that's what I'm going to start my number sentence with. 14. My second sentence says Rosa gave her five more. So I know she gave her more. So I know I'm adding and I know she gave her five. So plus five. And it's asking me how many blocks Kim has now. Equals blank, because that is what we're solving for. Now that I have my number sentence, I can choose a strategy to help me solve. The strategy that I'm going to choose is drawing a picture using tens and ones. I can, I'm gonna start with the number 14. 14 has one group of 10 and four extra ones, so I will draw that. One group of 10 and four extra ones. And now I need to add five more. It's not five more tens, just five more ones. So let's do five more ones. One. Two, three, four, five. And now my job is just to add them together. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. I know my answer is 19. One group of 10 and nine extra ones. But I'm not done yet. I need to double check my work. I've visualized my story problem. I made my number sentence and solved it, but now I need to make sure that I've solved it correctly by checking it. I'm going to check my work by doing a counting on strategy. I'm going to start at the number 14 and count on five to see if I get the same answer, 19. 14, counting up, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. I counted up five. I got 19 as my answer and my work is correct. I have double checked it using a different strategy. Today you're going to solve the two known story problems on the slides. You can click on the button to hear them read out loud to you.